I have split power systems into three categories, individual, universal, and expansive. In an individual power system, each person has their own unique ability that has little connection to the next person. This one ability is given to them by the author. In a universal power system, the system has a consistent trait and usually rules used by all other users of the power system. An expansive power system is always a universal power system because of the energy source used to activate the powers, but it also has the feature of having a skill tree. Power systems that are individual types are devil fruits and quirks. Each devil fruit gives the user a unique set of abilities. No character can have the same power as another, and these powers cannot be learned. Devil fruits also have very little connection to one another in terms of abilities. They have three categories, and the weakness of seawater. But apart from those small similarities, the powers usually function in unique ways, especially Paramecia. Logia and Zoan have similarities, like all Logias can turn into their element and all Zoans can move between human and animal form, but not enough to make them feel like a united system. Quirks also have the same abilities. Each character has their own unique ability, and although there are three categories as well, the quirk factor is the only thing connecting one ability to the next. There aren't really any universal set of rules. Power systems can also be a mix of multiple types. Ones that are partially individual are Stance, Curse Techniques, Nen, and Chakra. For Stance, each stand is given a unique ability that most of the time, only they can use. The power has its own unique set of rules that only it abides by. For curse techniques, innate and inherited techniques are individual. Innate can only be used by the specific character, while inherited are restricted to a family line. For Nen, Hatsu has its property. Each Hatsu is unique to the user and usually can't be copied. For Chakra, this can be seen in Keke Genkai. There are bloodline abilities limited to users of the clan and can't be copied or used by outsiders. Power systems that are universal are stands, alchemy, and triggers. For stands, nearly all stands have a ghost, and if not, they usually have some kind of physical manifestation like a sword or hair. Stands can only be touched by another stand and are invisible to non-stand users. Stands can only move a limited distance away from their user, and they get weaker the further away they move. These are some of the universal rules that govern the power system. For alchemy, it almost always requires a transportation circle, even if the circle is made by clapping. It also requires the alchemist to use the three steps of comprehension, deconstruction, and reconstruction. For borders triggers, all triggers are available to all border agents. All of the triggers also follow the rule of Treon usage. The Treon bodies have a max limit of 8 triggers, 4 on each hand. Systems that are expansive are Chakra, Nen, and Jujutsu. Expansives are usually universal because they have some kind of energy source like mana or chi that allows the users to use the power. But the most defining trait of an expansive power system is what I would call a skill tree. There is a starting point that all users begin from, but then there are many branches that come out after. Some branches are available to all, but just require training, while some branches are individualistic. This usually means that a greater understanding of the power system will make a combatant more skillful. Chakra has chakra as its energy source. By itself, chakra can do things like allow users to walk on water, walk up trees, or stick to kunai. There are universal concepts like chakra, chakra points, and hand signs. For actual jutsu, chakra has many branches. General jutsu like substitution and body flicker are available to everyone. There's also branches for ninjutsu, taijutsu, and genjutsu. Under ninjutsu, there's shape and nature transformation and so forth. The only branches that are individualistic are clan jutsu to a degree and keke genkai. For nen, there is nen as the energy source and by itself, it can perform techniques like ten, ren, zetsu, and hatsu. Characters can learn even higher levels and go down branches like Kyo, In, En, Shu, Ko, Ken, and Ryu. There are also universal concepts like Aura and Aura nodes. For Hatsu, characters have their individual branch, but can learn new abilities with their initial technique and mix other Nen types into their moves. For example, Gon is an enhancer, but he branched out to rock, paper, scissors, with each of them having a different Nen type. For cursed techniques, cursed energy is the energy source. By itself, it can be used as reinforcement to make a person stronger or faster. Cursed energy also flows with physical attacks, allowing the opponent to predict them. Each character has their individual innate or inherited technique, but all techniques have universal branches. These are a reverse curse technique and domain expansion. They just need to be learned. There are also general techniques like simple domain and curtain that anyone can learn. In summary, the three types of power systems are individual, universal, and expansive. Power systems can have elements of multiple types or be restrained to one. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and check out my manga for free online. If you enjoy my content, please consider donating to my Patreon. All important links will be in the description.